Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I am Brett Kai Vectra and I would like to welcome you to the runway. Today we have the pleasure of viewing the Tomorrow Ralph Fall Winter 2024-2025 Couture Show. Right out of the gate, we have a beautiful white and black checkered look. Love the hat, love the veil. Here you can see we have a croc embossed or debossed black leather coat back to the black and white checkered print really like this again look at the tailoring hugs the body nicely sleeves fit well look at all of these pearls as a top here, look at the kind of pearloized pants as well to match. Really like that, the opera length gloves. And Mr. Mara Ralph is so, so good. One of my favorite designers. One of the best couturiers out. Look at the silver and black tweed. Oh, look at this. Really nice white. Silky, silky, silky smooth look. Pearls around the waist, beautiful white veil. So elegant, the model wears it so well too. Beautiful see-through look with some skin. Three bows, triple bow look. One right below the navel, one on the breast, and one on the neck. And then one, four, one on her head, wow. Interesting. Love, again, the structured shoulders. Oh my lord, beautiful red satin rose. Another gorgeous look here. So elegant, love the hat and the veil. And again, the record that we're listening to, you guys know this, if you know Okator, Miss Tamara Ralph, this record is, is meant for her, essentially. <laughs> this is uh, this is Ritzy by yours truly, Break Eye Vectra, and it's made for looks like this. I mean, gorgeous crystal, encrusted looks I mean just gorgeous gorgeous work look at the silver tones look at the blues the glitters that come from using crystals this is a gorgeous off the shoulder blue satin tube dress with an extended neckline past the shoulders very Disney-esque the points give it a fantasy if not villainous flair look at the back line love the venue that we're in very spacious yet intimate Oh, I love that bow bag in her hand. And this model wore the wedding gown in the spring summer collection. So she's not gonna be wearing it today. Oh, look at my black velvet. I need a black velvet look. And she delivers me one. Black velvet with crystals, whoo. That is such a juxtaposition. And like, it works. Very nice, very nice. Love this, this, I call this McLaren gray, McLaren silver. That's a very nice tone of, of gray. Love the bluish hues, kind of space gray. Apple kind of uses that kind of color with some of their products as well. Really, really like this. Love this tweed look. Oh, look at the pants too. Those pants are to die for. So wispy. Nothing looks really gaudy, per se. Too gaudy. It, it's, it's really, really, and I think gaudy gets a bad rep. Has really has a negative connotation, but I really, I, I hate. Sometimes, you know, that's a part of, that's a, that's a aspect of fashion. That's an aspect of art and life. The extravagant, you know. Look at that coat. That's kind of dragging on her hands. And it's kind of like simulating a train. Very interesting. Striped look here. Oh, look at that hat. Love that hat. Beautiful, 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 beautiful hat. Oh, look at this. 
really gorgeous crystal look. This time with the black velvet being the minor to the crystal, crystalline, crystalline uh, major of that look. Very nice. Look at these gorgeous, gorgeous floral embellishments. The crystals on the leggings here. Absolutely gorgeous black velvet, opera gloves. Oh my gosh. Black and pink combo. That's always such a nice combo. Oh, very, look at these boots. Look at this look right here. I love, oh, they didn't show it long enough at all. That look did not get enough camera work. Aggressive neckline, love the velvet black gloves, matching the velvet bows. Okay, okay, they got me with some pink back here again with this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pink look. Look at the cape. Oh my gosh, the, the, the feathers, the neckline, that kind of plunge neckline, beautiful. Oh, look at this lavender look. Look at the gloves, the beautiful laced gloves. I love the bow. Oh my gosh, very, very nice. Beautiful lavender look there. But going back to that pink look, the dark brown skin with that with any sort of pink is a very underutilized combo. As a, as a dark skin man myself, I've been wearing pink shirts my whole life and they always work. I get complimented all the time. It just really works. That combo just works. It's like dark skin and yellow. You know, like these, these combos really work. Love this look right here. Oh, look at the ethereal chiffon. The lace touches. Very sexy, lingerie-esque. But beautiful, beautiful, beautiful look. Not risque, sexy, but not too risque. Very nice, look at this Valentine's look. Love that train. Oh my gosh. Valentine look, red and pink. Really nice, really, really nice. And ladies and gentlemen, it looks like it's time for the main event. Here we go, let's get a closer look. Oh my gosh, beautiful, beautiful white veil. Very nice silk wedding gown. Oh, look at the train. You can see it from the front. Beautiful crystal bouquet. She's holding. Love the, the designs on the straps and the bodice. The headpiece is gorgeous. The way the chiffons just kind of wisps over. Gloves are beautiful. The cream floral embellishments, very nice. Very nice silky look. And here's everybody at the end. Now that first look, let me take a better. Yeah, this is very chic, very chic. Especially that veil, that veil really sells it. The camera work is a bit fast. I wish they were a little longer. Tamara Ralph shows like to get you in and out when it comes to the YouTube video they put up. Like, but man, like that that's a really nice look. Where's that look with the boots? Yes, that one. That look with the boots was killer. And there she is, Miss Tamara Ralph, ladies and gentlemen. I like her front slit leggings. And I like how she brings her team out. Well done, per usual. Okay, let's go back and take a look at some of my favorite looks. Again, great show, great venue. Really like the ambiance off the bat. I personally, I would have preferred it just to be all like the left side or the right side on her right side. Um, love the hat and the veil, the jewels on her buttons that match the earrings, and of course the shoes that match. Second look, really like it. It's complete opposite tone from this from the first look. Here you have nothing underneath, trench coat, just sexy like after hours, black croc leather, stunning crystal fasteners, crystal floral touch on that hat, deep plunge opening on the shoes as well. Nice touch. 
The third one might be the strongest though, out of the initial. It takes the same pattern from the first one, makes it more palatable to the average eye. It's, it's balanced, it's symmetrical. You do have the asymmetrical black crystal embellishment on the left side, but as far as the garment goes with the actual fabric, good, same shoes. Love the silhouette of the dress, beautiful veil. And I love the bow on the back of her hair. I really like this one as well. Gorgeous slacks, beautiful shoes. I don't know if they're flats or heels, probably heels, because the fabric is already dragging the ground. Gorgeous. And again, the bows in the back of the hair do it for me. Backless look, very sexy. But with that many, that many pearls, it has to at least have a touch of class. By default. But with that many pearls, you've got to say it has a, at least a touch of class, just by default. Don't like this look, but I love these leggings. These tights over the shoes. Really like this white, silky look. Look at the bodice pearls all around it just silky clean elegant pristine prim proper these are the terms that you, that you think of when you see that her walk her demeanor very demure very mindful <laughs> you know great stuff really like this one really like this one beautiful bows you see on the front of the top of her head one two three on the body, separated by cutouts. Aggressive slit in the front as well. Just in case you haven't seen enough skin yet. Little see-through action with crystal sequence and embe well sequence embellishments. Very nice. Cap it off with black shoes for balance. Love this red look. Oh yes. Classic devil in a red dress. And I always say that phrase when I just see a knockout bold red like this. Red satin. And to me, whenever I heard that phrase, devil in a red dress, I mostly think of a satin red. Smooth. The devil's always going to approach you in the best way. <laughs> so like in a smooth manner, smooth talking. It's like the snake in the Garden of Eden. It's appetizing. Man, what a, what a look. Love the roses on the cups. Love just a neckline and the way that it's also playing with the cutout going into the sleeves. It's just a really good look, man. Very creative use of one fabric. Again, that red veil really works for me with the updo. And I think she has blue eyeshadow, maybe really works for me now this lady was stepping this was like you're stepping out of the house look at this i mean she looks partly she looks like she's going to a funeral look at this gentleman right here in the beige suit behind me <laughs> this guy looks so intrigued like yes look she's got the funeral look the veil the dark black velvet look the hat look at the bow fasteners Crystal embellished, little netting here on the thigh. Slow motion to make sure you pick it up. Bows on the shoes to match because she's that type of woman. She's just, she's just that type. Beautiful. Earrings match, smoky eye. It's a funeral because she's killing these chicks in this dress. You know what? This is also Sophia Loren in Ready to Wear in the movie. Her husband died, but she's on the way to getting a new one right after the funeral or at the funeral. That was that was a showstopper. Gloves. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh, I love that look. This silver one right here. Dazzling. Some might say a little much, but me personally, for jewelry. I've always preferred silver as opposed to gold. I think silver looks just classier than gold. I, I just always think that. What say you? Let me know in the comment section below. But I've always preferred silver watches, anything over gold. Me personally. 
And so when you overdose, if you had to overdose on silver or gold, overdosing on silver to me comes across as less overtly gaudy. With the crystals, they have their own prisms of light. They're gonna, of course, add the rainbow touches. You can see that the bag or the clutch that she has in her hand, I believe, on the left side. And just the silver, I can't be mad at. The overdose silver like this really is nice. The dusting over the midsection and the top with crystals acro across. Mesmerizing sea of just white, this white grayish sequence beautiful tube dress here we get hit with this mclaren gray as i mentioned in the previous video uh this that that tone of gray is just, that's the mclaren f1 color to me <laughs> and i just love it like it's got blue hits oh it's so sleek and slinky but each step is just flying and just dusting the top of her feet Love the black bow, they work for me because they have black shoes, which work with the, again, with that McLaren gray. And I love the leggings with the black seam on the back. This white look right here, really love this dress. They picked the right model to wear it. And like, I just love the sea of white sequence. Very nice, very clean. Silhouette is so on point. Straight out of the journal. And the tassels at the bottom work here for me. They work. Without them, it would look very plain and I would say more ready to wearish, but the tassels really work for me. Very clean. Very clean. I would have liked to. I would have liked to see the model with white eyeliner or some sort of white headpiece or bow or something. I would have liked to have seen the model with some sort of white eyeliner or headpiece or bow or some sort of white accessory up top. I like this dress a lot. The black parts, the white cape, eh, I could, I could leave it, but this little black dress above the knee mini dress this really works for me again gorgeous i don't even know what these are but there's a lot of them they're ribbed and they're meticulously placed they're circled on the cups they angle here below the breasts on the rib section and they're lined horizontally stacked on top of each other on the skirt stunning with the bow keep it all black to me i don't i don't like the white with paired with that keep it all black to shoot the patent leather shoes yes ma'am tomorrow ralph makes some of the best hats in the game yes she does and just like in the spring summer couture collection this one right here again smooth operator type of hat just beautiful sitting low love those wide brim hats love the, i like the dress i like the dress but i really love the hat I wish this look committed to that top part. The top section where there's nude in between the black velvet. Do the whole dress like that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now the black is a little funky to pair with this kind of white gold collage of just beige crystals and embellishments. Golly, she is shining though. I mean like she is shining. I don't like the black with it though. I don't. I wish it was nude or something. Something else. To me, take out the whole strip section, the bows, you can take that out and just give me this, this, this look by itself. This dress with the aggressive slit and take the back, the black off of the back asymmetrical part as well on the left, on the right side. And this is perfect because it's already looking, it's already show stopping. And you can see through it, you can see through the back, we can see the flooring. So it kind of has some see through aspect to it, but it's well lined up top. Yeah, remove the black and keep all the sparkles. 
and that would have been killer. And then you can put a sparkly bow on there too, on her hair. You can put a sparkly bow on her hair too if you really want to just shine. <laughs> I like this pink look. I like the leggings. I like the tights. I like the crystal embellishment here. It balances beige and pink, this neutral-ish pink, this blush neutral-esque pink with the shoes. I like that like this but perhaps black shoes are necessary to kind of balance it out it gets too beigey at the bottom maybe black shoes i don't know maybe not even go with these leggings and just go with regular black shoes i don't know but i do like the dress the black parts and those those leggings are a hit but i don't i don't know about here i do like those floral embellishments she has Beautiful back line. And come on, you know I wasn't gonna not point out these boots. These boots, man. These boots, man. The dress is very cute. It matches perfectly. The whole look is killer. Didn't need the black bow, but I, I could have used a pink one. That same hue of pink, put that in her hair. Got this rosy, blush, lush, cute look. I was so thrilled to see this look in this collection. I mean, those are like Barbie boots. This whole look really could have been in the Barbie movie and people would have been raving about this. If Margot Robbie was wearing this on the runway during the pr promotion or in the movie, ugh, people would have raved about that. And give her a bag as well. This could, this is, I might, man. It's, it's a lot more casual than the other ones, but man, this would, could, might be my favorite. Lavender is so relaxing as a color and a scent, and I just really like this look right here, man. Oh, yes. Beautiful gloves. Gorgeous look. Everything about it. Everything about this look, from the gloves to the cape, the color, the scarf. Oh. Devil in a red lace dress. Absolutely. Absolutely. Super sexy, super seductive, but so well made. And it has, even though, again, it's fire red. I mean, this is, again, it's devil red. It's, it still has a prim, it has a proper elegance to it. Even though it's just seductive, it's fiery, it's it's bold, it still has a, an elegant feel to it. I love the whole look, the entire look. The red tights, the corset, red lip for this though. And maybe that's why it, it's, it has more of a, an, a pure, it's got some purity to it. Maybe that's why it has some purity to it, because the makeup and styling is is that like she's wearing a whole different garment. If you just look at her face and nothing else, you would assume she's wearing a completely different type of garment. Just her demeanor, demeanor. maybe it's the wearer, I don't know. But like, man, I know on the right woman, whoo, that'd be fiery. For example, imagine Angelina Jolie with the bold red lip in that. Different effect. And last but not least, I love this gown. Again, not super big. Just like the wedding gown in the spring summer. Pretty much all silk. Just really cute. Really gorgeous. And just really nice, really classy. An elegant garment. Excellent work overall from Miss Tomorrow Ralph. Per usual. Love her stuff, love her style. And I just can't wait to check out more from her. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. But until next time, have a great day.